Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Volume 2 palette. So girl, grab your popcorn, grab your cup of tea because look, I'm gonna tell y'all what it is and if I am really digging and feeling this palette and if I really recommend this palette for you guys to go up, go out and pick up. So if you're interested in what I got to say and also how to create this look using the new Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Volume 2 palette, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I know you guys see that of course today's video we're gonna be reviewing the new Morphe palette times Jaclyn Hill volume two. But before we go ahead and get into this video, I definitely want to just have a little bit of a talk. So first and foremost, the main thing that everybody on the internet, including myself, when we saw the palette, we instantly thought like, wow, girl, this palette literally looks like the vault palettes put into one palette. I mean, honestly, it was very, very, very hard to ignore the massive similarities that the vault palettes had to the full size Morphe volume two palette. I would definitely say I was a little bit disappointed because I feel like Jacqueline just kind of gets us all amped up and ready and hyped up like, oh my God, this collaboration is just going to be the best thing you ever seen. Like, girl, be ready. Like every single time I feel like she gasses us up so much and then she drops the product. It's just like a flop and it's just like you you feel so like taken for a ride and you feel like, dang girl, you gassed me up, got me thinking like, oh, I'm finna just get something fresh, something new, and then you drop something. Like, you really be like, dang, like, that's all you got for me? I just want to give you guys an honest opinion coming from someone who buys things with their own hard-earned money. So you guys know that my opinion is not biased and it, and it comes from a 100% um, honest point of view. Even if it was sponsored, I was still be 100 honest because you just have to be in this day and age because people respect you a lot more when you just keep it all the way 100. so now that i've got that off my chest um if you guys are not interested in having all these colors in this palette just for your information they still sell the vault palettes all right guys so clearly we have the palette here it says jacqueline hill palette volume two on it and of course morphe in the corner she still goes with the all white vibe that is her thing with morphe she just loves doing these white palettes and they literally get so freaking dirty here is a quick overview of the palette and you can see all the shades she even threw a little bit of some yellows in there as well and i think that's pretty cute when i take a first look at this i think the palette is definitely pretty i think it's a pretty palette i think you have your neutrals you have your brights you have your sultries you have your berries you have your warm sums like i literally feel like this palette is pretty um i just don't know if it's different from what I've seen from Jaclyn in the past. In this palette, she does have shimmer shades, matte shades, and pressed pigments. Another thing that I like about this palette is that the fact that they stamp the names beneath the pans. All right, you guys, so I am not going to swatch this entire palette because it's just way too many shades. All right, so next I'm gonna go through and I'm going to swatch all of the shimmer shades it's not that many in here it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so this first one here is ride or die um it's okay looking not super pigmented it feels it feels kind of dry all right there's talia Next, I have Get Ready With Me. Next one is Bougie. There's Bougie. Next, I have Drama Queen. Next, I have Flawed and Odd. Okay, that one actually came out pretty nice. This one is A Moment. 
Okay. Next we have empowered. Purple is called good place. And the last shimmer shade is Paolo. All right, you guys. So those are all 10 of the shimmer shades. Compared to other Morphe shadows that I have, these seem a little bit under quality. This is just not like, it's just not there. Like they're not really creamy. They're kind of stiff. They're a little bit dry. These shimmer shades, I was expecting a lot more. Some of the pigmentation paid off right away. And then others I had to build up a little bit. Like Paolo, that was pretty decent. This orange one here was pretty decent. That red one there was pretty decent. But all of them, it was kind of like hit or miss as far as the swatching. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to swatch a couple of the matte shades from this palette. I'm probably going to do, let's see, I'm going to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm going to swatch two from each row. The first one I'm swatching here is Certified. Next one we're going to swatch is Comfort Zone. This one is Homeboy. Then we have No Joke. That yellow is terrible. Next color we have is My Man. The next color there is Heart On. The next color is Tipsy Girl. Next we have Therapy Sheesh. Next one is Oh Hello. And then the last one is Crazy. All right, so here are 10 of the matte shades and i will say the texture of the matte shades is different from the texture of the shimmer shades these seem to have more of a cream as you can see the pigmentation was way better on these i felt like with the shimmer shades i struggled a little bit with the pigmentation the mattes seem to perform a lot better than the shimmers so there is a little bit of inconsistency between the shimmer shades and the matte shades like seriously, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna get something on this shirt. I knew it. And it didn't even come from no fallout. It came from me washing the freaking colors off my arm. Like, I'm so irritated. Like, I'm gonna have to wash this shirt. All right, guys, so next we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a quick little eye look, nothing too intricate. I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my eyes really quickly. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go into right here is Comfort Zone. All right, so the next shade I'm gonna take is this color called Dance Party. It's this little pink down here. Let's go for a pink eye. That's, that's so like Valentine's Day appropriate, right? add a little bit more depth I'm gonna go in with a combination combination of oh hello and crazy I'm gonna use a little bit of both of those in my outer corner all right so next I'm gonna go back in with my Pete Louise base and the goal is to help with those shimmer shades because like I said I was just not that impressed by them now this is not gonna be a cut crease. This is just gonna be more like um, like a natural, like you don't know where it starts and end type of looking eye. And I'm just patting it so the edges will be super soft. So I'm gonna use, I'm in it for my inner corner and I'm gonna use Ride or Diamonds for the rest of my lid. For me, it isn't showing up like what I thought it would. It looks a lot more iridescent and I, I'm not sure if I love it or hate it. I would have to see after I put the color on my lid. Okay, like that, this is not working. Like this matte, these sparkle shades are not, what's up? These, I don't like these. 
these pressed pigments or whatever they're supposed to be I'm not liking them and I have to go in with my finger to really get it on Let me press two all right all right you guys so with the shimmer shades you're gonna have to use your finger like you're gonna have to press these in with your finger a brush is not gonna work okay so I'm gonna go back in with crazy which was the dark purplish shade I used All right, guys so this is the eye look um of course pre-lash okay pre-liner type of situation and um it's not that bad the mattes are really nice and they blend really nicely but these shimmer shades are just a struggle with like they not acting right the shimmers are just i can do without them like i could literally do without them let me go ahead and put on some lashes and complete this look so you guys can get like a full overall view and then we're gonna come back and just sum up this video and talk about the highs and lows of this jacqueline hill times morphe volume 2 palette okay guys we're back and this is the final look i just went ahead and added some lashes and a little bit of liner and here we are and yeah be well but let's just get down to the overall satisfaction of this palette so as you guys saw during the video the shimmer shades they were not up to my expectations I felt that they were somewhat dry they were not easily blendable and as far as the pigmentation I really had to build it up they do not go on well with the brush but um, if you keep packing with your finger you will get some type of payoff now I definitely feel like the matte shades were the best of the palette the matte shades were super pigmented they had a nice creamy texture not as creamy as others but they did have a nice texture to them and the pigmentation and the payoff was definitely amazing so i definitely will say that overall do i think this palette is just worth going out and buying and grabbing um i really don't i think this palette is okay but if you would like to amp up your collection and get a little bit of everything then you can go for it and buy it so overall on a scale of one to ten i will give this palette a four just because the shimmer shades the repetition of the palette and just overall it's just being underwhelming i feel like morphe has put out plenty of shades like these plenty of palettes like these so it's really nothing um new to us so hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video please make sure you like comment and subscribe i definitely will have another video coming up for you guys either today or of course tomorrow but yeah you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys